Hey guys, I just transplanted the purple Cherokee. Today is February 13th. They were ready to go, so I pulled them out of their starting pots and placed two in the aquaponics and five in the hydroponics. I guess I lost a couple plants. I had more. Or maybe they were stolen. Who knows? I had them sitting out on the street, so maybe some curious fellow decided to grab one for himself. In any case, it doesn't matter. I've got enough to go around. Since that's done, what I need to do today is get these guys strung up on strings and support strings both here and in the uh, hydroponic system one of the dutch bucket systems so i'll get the ladder and go ahead and start doing that just real quick i wanted to show you the roof that i had built to cover the aquaponic system and it's just essentially clear greenhouse panels that i didn't want to block any sun i only get six hours of sunlight where the aquaponic system is about 12 o'clock the sun starts to begin to be shaded by the house so if you see those three bars running from left to right there those are going to be my support bars and that's where i'll put my strings these are the tomato string supports that i'm using and you can purchase these spools i ordered them from morgan county seeds i ordered them online they were happy to ship to me internationally and uh, that's all based on mhp gardener's recommendation of course uh, he's using the same thing and they do work quite well um, they come in two pieces though and when I ordered them initially I thought they were already came with the the clips and the spool and that's not the case so you do have to order them both and all they do is just snap on here just like that and you're done pretty easy to put together to hold the vines onto the string just using these vine clips and these vine clips just fold up and you'll put your string in the little clasp here and it'll lock on. All right, I have these tomatoes strung up and I've got a vine clip on them and that's just kind of how it works. These vine clips hold them onto the string and as they get heavier, the string will support the weight. Pretty easy stuff. Here's the Dutch buckets. I've got these uh, first six plants all strung up looking nice and neat and you can see there's a bar on the top here that I've attached the spools to. Just a quick look at the growth from about one week difference from the last video that you saw. Again today's February 13th. Lots of tomatoes coming in. Hey good morning YouTube. Uh, today is February 21st. It's about 7 o'clock in the morning. The sun's just coming up, but it looks like it's going to be overcast today. Again, it rained all day yesterday. It's a nice morning out. I'll be honest with you guys, I'm never up this early. I'm not a morning person, but my sleep schedule's been all screwed up, and last night I woke up around midnight. So, I thought I'd come out here this morning, it's nice and cool, and show you some of the progress in comparing the aquaponic tomatoes to the hydroponic tomatoes, as well as the ones that were started earlier that are coming along nicely. So I'll finish my cup of coffee and then I'll spin the camera around and we'll look at uh, some of the growth. These are the tomatoes in the aquaponics. There's two varieties, three plants of each. The pink brandy ones are on the right and the Brazilian beauties, which are a variety of purple tomatoes, on the left. And to be perfectly honest with you, they look great. I'll bring you in for a closer look, but the growth is phenomenal. They're flowering. Um, some of the blossoms have already come out. And they're doing very well. They look extremely healthy, very thick stalks, very happy plants. So here's some of the blossoms coming out on the uh, brandy wines. And uh, I use my fat finger as a reference, but and the only reason any of this matters is because I'm comparing them to the other plants that I've got. And from what I can tell, the major difference is, is that these plants are actually much sturdier they, they seem larger to me and I wasn't able to find any of my 18 tape measures this morning so I didn't actually measure them or anything like that but just by looking at them and hopefully that'll come out on the camera as well in the video they look very good and I thought for sure that the hydroponics would outgrow the aquaponics in terms of everything and it has and I'll get into that when I go over there in a different sense but size-wise, these aquaponic tomatoes are actually larger. The plants themselves are larger than in the hydroponics. 
All right, so here are the same varieties of tomatoes growing in hydroponic Dutch bucket systems. Again, they look very healthy, they look very good, they're just not as thick as the aquaponic tomatoes. However, their developmental stages are much further along. They've already been blossoming for two weeks, and there's already been fruit that has started to set. That's probably the first one there. And I believe, yeah, there's another cluster here. So, again, I believe that's because of the readily available micronutrients that are always available to these plants that cause them to blossom and set fruit faster than what we were seeing in the aquaponic system. Thought I'd give you a quick look at my eggplants as well. These are all like an Asian variety ex with the exception of that larger. That is a black beauty eggplant. So yeah, they're doing really well. I've been just feeding them um, worm castings. I've got a worm bin and I throw all our kitchen scraps in there and the worms turn into outstanding fertilizer and uh, they're doing well. They seem to appreciate it. I've had a, a lot of problems with peppers. I can't seem to grow a pepper to save my life. Uh, some red okra and I think these are like a cucumber or something. I didn't, I'm not sure because I didn't plant them. They, some seeds got mixed up in the compost I think. But yeah, there's a little basil plant coming along. This is the other hydroponic system. The first one I built, the first one that got planted, obviously gets much further along. Um, lots and lots of cherry tomatoes. Again, these are rising trouts. Um, they're supposed to taste more like a beefsteak. They're not super sweet cherries. Uh, we made tomato soup out of them the other day. They're really good. They're really good. And so I'm probably getting 10 to 20 of these every couple of days. They just, as soon as they start to turn yellow like this, that'll be red in just two days. They turn very quickly. And those things are growing like crazy. I'm just going to let them grow. I'm not going to thin them out anymore. And once they reach the top, then I'll start topping them. Let the fruit, whatever fruits on the vines mature. And then we'll replant with something else. The beefsteaks also doing great. I've had my first tomato turn. And it's already been eaten by birds. So I have no idea what I'm going to do about that. I don't want to hang up a bunch of net and shit in front of the house. It's not going to look very nice. And I've already tried the bullshit CD technique. It doesn't work, at least not with these birds. So, I don't know, I can try spraying something on them, see if it keeps them off, but I, they were initially bothering the cherries, but not very many of them, and I found that if I leave one that's been eaten on, they'll keep going back to that same one. So hopefully they won't bother this guy, which is still the biggest one that I have so far. And uh, it's not huge by any means, but Hopefully they'll leave him alone and we can see what it tastes like. But lots and lots of fruit. I don't even, I mean, I'm surprised to see this much fruit is set on some of these plants who have over 20 tomatoes and they're not even three feet tall. So it'll be interesting to see if I can sustain all of these. I, I think what's gonna end up happening is I'm gonna have a bunch of small tomatoes. But again, I've kept them mostly to single vine, so I literally have to cut fruit off. And when I trim them, I have to make sure that the wife is at work or else she gives me a hard time about it. She'll say uh, something to the effect, Hard as shit! Why you cut all the tomato? Can you put that back? Don't be dead. Actually, she sounds nothing like that, but that's my best impression. Most offensive impression. So there you have it. That's about it for today. Um, we'll see how they keep coming along. And uh, the most interesting thing in the next few weeks is that fruit begins to grow. We'll see if that aquaponics makes any type of comeback in terms of fruit production and catching up with the stage of fruit production that the hydroponic Dutch buckets are and then more importantly is what the quality of fruit ends up coming out to be as. Alright guys, see you next time.